Hi everyone and welcome back to the Taco Share YouTube channel. I'm Alicia and did you know that any Ontario resident who's also licensed to fish in Ontario can legally collect their own live bait? Well they can and in this video I'm going to show you specifically how you can make your own leech trap to help you catch your own leeches for live bait. Leeches are a great bait for targeting walleye, bass and really any other species as well. When on a hook they twist and curl making the actions that are really attractive to fish. At times, when fish don't seem too interested in artificial baits due to weather changes or high fishing pressure, leeches are especially attractive for those picky fish. So to make your own leech trap, it really doesn't take a lot of items. I've collected here an aluminum foil pan. This one's a lasagna pan. You could use a pie plate if you wish. Um, I've also collected the bait that I'm going to be using to attract my leeches, which I've got a piece of cow liver here, a fairly big piece, um, enough there. I have also got some string because I'm going to have to tie the trap um, to a bush somewhere to make sure I can retrieve it. I've also got a rock to help weight it down, um, a pen, a permanent marker, a nail, and some clips to keep the trap shut. So I'm going to show you how we're going to assemble this a little bit right here. So I've got my foil pan. I'm going to fold it in half. I already did a dry run, so it's already pre-folded there for me. And you want to kind of make sure that these, these get close enough to being closed, but not, does, it's not have, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so it closes good enough for me. I need to make sure that I'm going to be able to fit my rock and my attractant in there. And of course they do fit. Now, one thing I've noticed now is of course, I only have this small little seam here. And what I want to do is create some more holes so that leeches can kind of get in and infiltrate into the trap. So I have my nail there with me. And of course I had to pull the liver for a second. Um, I'm just going to puncture some holes in without confining the trap too much. And you kind of wiggle them around a little bit. Does not need to be perfect. Wiggle it around a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. There we go. So now I've got some holes in my, oops, some holes in my trap. Um, and then also one more thing that you need to know, there's of course some specific regulations you need to know about baiting in Ontario. I'm going to have put a screenshot up later about some of those details. But the one thing I need to mention now at this stage is that you need to have your name on it. So I'm going to go ahead and because it's an aluminum foil pan, I know that it's going to take the impression of me pushing down on the trap so, or on the, on the aluminum foil. So I'm going to put my name on here. There we go. And I'm also going to do a permanent marker just as a test to see how it bears up in the water. There we go. All right, so that's that's the hardest part of this has been done. I've got some nice holes in it there. I'm, of course, making sure it's going to match back up. I'm going to put one more hole in it up here, and I'm going to make sure I do it close to the edge where it's got these, like, reinforced... Um, you know, the edges are reinforced because of the ripples. And I'm going to put a hole there and a hole through the other side, and that is where... I'm going to put my line. So essentially what's going to happen, I'm going to do it later on this afternoon or I'm going to refilm when it's closer to dusk because you want to put your traps out when it's not the heat of the day because leeches uh, dive down deep in the, the light of the day, the bright part of the day, they don't want to be out and around. So they're active at night. So I'm going to put this trap out with my bait. Obviously it won't be in the bag. It'll be in there on its own um, later tonight. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take these, you know, binder clips that you have for any sort of office supply location and they're pretty strong and they're going to just kind of keep the trap closed there for me to make sure it's not going to come open like this. And there's my trap and of course I have my string I've got here and I'm going to feed that through the two holes. if they would cooperate. There they go. And I'm gonna feed that through here. Just like that. So now I have my trap ready to go, to go for tonight. But I'm not gonna put it out right now. It's close to noon. It is way too hot today on a July day. So I'm gonna make sure I put my liver in the fridge for now. And then you're gonna come back out with me later tonight when I go to set my trap. 
All right, so it's into the evening hours now. I've come out to the pond at the back of my property. I'm lucky enough to have an, uh, you know, like a beaver pond out here. It is pretty stagnant water, which is what you're going to want to use. You want to make sure the, the, the water body you're collecting leeches from has, a, you know, like a, a muddy, silty layer. You don't want any fast flowing current because they're really not, they don't like to hang out in that area. So I've got this beautiful beaver pond at the back of my property that I'm going to try to drop a trap in. It's July, so of course there's lots of lily pads. So I'm hoping that I can drop it down in between one of them. So here I have my trap all ready to go. Of course, I've got the liver in there now, my nice rock. I'm gonna clasp that shut. I've got the um, rope tied onto just one corner before, during the demonstration I did both, but of course that makes it really hard to open it. So I've only chosen to do one corner now, and I'm gonna put all the binder clips on. And then that rock in there is of course gonna help it sink down. And then when the water fills up, it'll go down all the way to the bottom. And then of course, you always wanna make sure that you tie that string off onto a stick or a branch or a tree stump of some sort to make sure that you don't lose it. You also wanna make sure when you're tossing it out, you hold onto that string. Because last thing you wanna do is have to go swimming in leachy, boggy water to go retrieve your trap. <laughs> All right, so I've set my leech trap. I'm gonna leave it overnight and then I'm gonna come back early in the morning and check it before it's really, really bright out. I'm gonna try, who knows how, what time I will be getting out here, but I'm gonna try and get as early as possible because as soon as the light comes out, that's exactly when the leeches will start to remove themselves from that trap and they go and try and hide down where it's dark. So I'm gonna check it early in the morning and we're gonna leave it to sit. And of course, when I went to pull my leech trap in, I must have forgotten to hit record or something happened with my phone, so I didn't actually show you the actual collection of the leeches. Um, but here's the haul that I have. They're kind of balling up in this shallow part of the water over here. The leeches that I have from today. I probably had twice as many, but I threw all the smaller guys back and kept these ones, so I probably have maybe 10 or 15-ish in here. Um, but because you didn't get to see the retrieve, I wanted to mention one thing is that when you're pulling in your trap, make sure you're doing it delicately by that string as you're, you're maybe pulling it along the bottom and through some lily pads, you want to make sure that you're not knocking any leeches off because most of the time you do find quite a few on the outside that are trying to, to get in. Um, so you could knock them off. So when you reel it in, just be gentle and then you can hand pick them off and toss them into your bucket before you go ahead and open up your trap. Now I did want to mention another thing is that a lot of people have a misconception that if they're using leeches you're, you're automatically going to have them attached to your hands or your fingers or whatnot and yes they do kind of occasionally do that but the reality is you just fed them and they're not going to be very hungry. For the most part they're just feeling around, they're kind of stunned and they're really not going to be attaching to you at all. So you can see these guys are just kind of wiggling around. I'm not concerned about it. They're fed, not hungry for you, they're just kind of feeling their way around to get back to the water. If you're a new or experienced angler, there are some new live bait regulations you should know. Always refer to the fishing regulations for specifics on collection, transport, and use of live bait. All right, well, that's it for our video all about leeches and leech trapping. If you liked our video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and ding the notification bell to keep more fishing content coming your way.